Yeah, I uh, don't agree with much of what Amazon does, but I'll give them one thing. They could ship something without destroying it. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Well, got my hands on the Craftsman uh, 20 volt V20 chainsaw lopper. Tool only, because if you've been following this channel, you know I got tons of batteries for the uh, for the Craftsman V20 line. I am not not lacking. Anyway, what we're gonna do is open her up, test it out, because I had the Black and Decker version of these and. Uh, um, wanted another one because they are so damn handy and I'll show you why 20 volt max 4 inch cut capacity the bar length is 6 inches and it comes with the ranch oil bottle the lopper itself and I on the other one that I had I didn't bother using the automatic oiler because I'll show you that's a pain in the rear to use so I just lubed the chain itself, and that worked. And that's about it. Got that. The wrench to change, to adjust. The chain, change of the chain, everything like that. This bottle, it's uh, it's too much trouble than it's worth for me anyway. And instructions. Now I didn't do a review on the Black and Decker version, but I'll do a review on this one. Let's see this uh, warning. Did not remove. Okay, whatever. All right, on these, you have to hit both switches to activate. It won't work with either one. It is locked, unlocked. You have to open that. Yes, neighbor. There we go. Opens the jaw. These are metal. It even uses the casting from when it was called the Black & Decker Alligator Lopper. But these are pretty much the exact same thing. Except it uses the V20 battery. That's where you would put oil in. There's no level line, no nothing for it. You just have to have faith that you did it right, which... I'd rather just open up the jaws and oil it myself. But here is your adjustment. The chain comes about that. Just at about that, which isn't bad. You can use a regular wrench if you want, things like that. All right, at first I thought I was doing something wrong. Um, don't use this. Pro tip. Do not use this, especially when you're going to unscrew it um, initially, because uh, loosening it, I really damaged it. Let me see. Bad. Thin metal. <laughs> use a regular wrench or a socket, something like that. But to adjust the chain right here, to adjust the chain, you loosen these two. You don't have to take them out, but I'm just going to take them out to show you what's underneath. Take that off the cover. Big cover. There you go. The driver's right under there. Automatic chain tensioning, it says, but, you know, adjust it, and it kind of sort of adjusts as you go. If it gets too loose, just readjust the whole thing. But to adjust, because as you can see right now, Pretty loose. What you have to do, go, you have to open that up, pull 
on the bar as you're tightening these down. Tighten the first one down, see the tension, so that's good. Tighten the second one. Check the tension. That's good. About one eighth of an inch. Perfect. Now, let's get a battery and test it out. I'm gonna use a two amp hour battery on it. It's, it shows the picture with a two amp hour battery online, fully charged. But I'm just testing it out with this. I'm just doing a maybe a couple of cuts. So if you're gonna do it, any uh, real work, you know, uh, quite a few limbs, I'd suggest a larger battery than a two amp hour before I get out there. Get out there. Oops, I got sag. Look at that. Let's readjust. Okay, fingers cut. And let's see again. Cut an eighth, an eighth. Good. Power source back in. Now let's do a little bit of cutting. All right, see, so like this tree right here is right next to the fence. See, now I'm just gonna put regular old motor oil. On the chain itself. There you go. And it's perfect for an area like this because you can get close to the fence, and because of the jaws, you uh, have much less chance of damaging anything. But it cuts through this like butter. Watch. Not like butter, not that part. Easily. Go over this one. Well, something happened. Let's go see. And my guess is that that came loose. Let's see. Move power supply. Yep. A little loose. Yep. My fault. I was so eager to use this. And tight it, tighten it properly. That's not in the channel right there. There we go. There we go. See, the reason why you got to open both jaws to tighten is to make sure it's in the channel. I probably didn't make sure it was in the channel. You know, I really could parrot some uh, some people online say, oh, Craftsman really messed up. And it was really my fault for the chain being like that. Because when I got it, the chain was perfect. All right, let's see over here. See, like we cut it already and these things grow <laughs> real fast. Not too shabby. See, and then you can get close 
to things like that and uh, have a lot less worries. Let's go to a regular tree branch. Well, closest I have around here, something like this. Not going to max it out, but I'm going to show you kind of sort of what it can do. Let me get rid of some of these smaller ones. So we can see. That's always nice. Like that one right there. There we go. I'm gonna go big. Go bigger, go home. And there we are. Works well. I, I like these saws. I really do. Even the, uh, I hear a lot of good things about the works ones, but I prefer these. These types of saws are great. Small jobs. Jobs that you don't want to just use a regular chainsaw with. A lot less chance of damaging something or getting hurt. So, I, uh, I really recommend this. these types of saws, alligator types of saws. Black & Decker, Craftsman, whatever. But thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.